All right, so I'm installing the rear shocks on this Ford Ranger and I want to show you guys something. Check this out. It's a brand new shock and it's released from its retainer. So see that white strap right there? That's how they compress it and retain it. So if I push this shock up, ready? See how it comes down all by itself? So this is actually a good shock right out of the box. All right, so if you come in for a shock and strut inspection, the manufacturers recommend every 60,000 miles for uh, decayed ride quality. So every 60,000 you should be replacing your shocks or struts and at least getting alignment done every year. Most people don't. Um, they come in when they have failed or they're getting ready to fall out of their vehicle, which is the wrong thing to do. But this was a perfect uh, way to show you guys what a good functioning shock looks like. Um, so shocks, when they wear, there's a long piston inside of here that moves up and down. It's called in the stroke. So you have compression and then rebound. And valving in every shock's a little different. So this should be a very continuous shock because that's how it's designed, meaning there's no dampening difference in its full stroke. It works exactly the same way. There are shocks that do operate in different, different strokes, but they usually have some type of adjustment on the bottom and top. Thanks for watching.